Hi Aries, it's Al here to do a quick love reading for you. So let's see how you feel about your person, the person you're coming to the reading for, and how they feel about you. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. How does Aries feel about the person that they're coming to the reading for? All right, so you've got the Sun card. You've got the Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. So you could feel as if this, you know, this person wanted a playful connection with you, nothing too serious. And maybe that's how the relationship was going for a very long time, or that's how it was a long time ago. That's what I heard. Um, Nine of Wands, you kind of are cautious to get back into this, to get involved here. And you're looking at it. It's like almost temptation. You know, should you, should you not? The seven of, of pentacles says that, you know, you want a significant amount of growth harvest in this relationship and you're not sure if you're going to get it. Therefore, you're kind of taking a step back. You're not doing anything. Um, you're not sure if you should still engage. Let's see what's going on here. You could be dating other people. A temperance card in the ten of cups. You could be taking a step back to get your life together. Also focus on you. You could... You can realize that this person is married or has a family or something will always come before you. This person will not be able to give you, you know, their undivided attention or the fullness of them. Uh, you, you, feel, you feel like you have to make some type of compromise, sacrifice if you come back together. It says, however it's going, it will stay the same unless there's change. Um, if it's good, it'll stay good. If it's bad, it's going to stay bad. And, it, and you realize that you got a, a card of wanting to call a truce, throwing the cards and just come back together. You feel like you've dealt with this for a very long time and you want to reap the rewards of, you know, being with someone for a very long time that maybe you get, um, a ring, you get engagement, you get public recognition. You just feel like something is not real here. Let's see how your person feels about you, Aries. How does Aries person feel about them? Um, so they are broken hearted that maybe you have isolated yourself. The fool card. They want a new start. You know, they're really ready to take the leap of faith or let something go or uh, throw it all in or the page of wands. Yeah, they want to come back together. They want to have some passionate makeup session. Uh, if you do that, ground the energy because it's going to be in passion. Yeah, they still want to keep you maybe a secret or they're, they're ready to make the sacrifice. But they're not sure. The Seven of Cups, they don't like being ignored or rejected by you. They're holding on, still holding on the strength card, holding on um, integrity dignity i don't know if this this is pride also like they won't let their pride subside to come to you and tell you exactly how they feel that they want the relationship they want to date you they want to go out with you they want to take you to the movies to the theater they want to do all of that but they won't allow themselves to release that to you relinquish that to you say that to you what's the next move from aries here uh, the will of fortune says so like maybe you're going to change the trajectory for yourself. You're going to go in a new direction. You're going to change your mind or a different set of social activity. Uh, yeah, social activities. Um, maybe putting yourself out there. Something about change the fate or the course of the de the destiny. What's the next move for Aries person? What's the next move for Aries person? Okay cards two of cups so they want reconciliation that's not a move that's more so a feeling uh five of wands in the page of pentacles they might reach out to you with an apology um it could be that they want to they don't know how else to come to you outside of being sexual playful you know starting up the playful banter i don't know if the relationship was always one that was very physical very sexual but, you know, it looks like, yeah, they're coming to you for sex, the Queen of Wands. Um, so be, 
you know, aware of that, be cautious of that. They're coming. They might don't even. They don't know how to express themselves. Yeah. They could also have a wife or, a, or another woman. Something that's holding them. They want a new start. Some of you, they want a new start. They really want to work on this. This is for some of you. This is a karmic relationship. They have to choose between another, you and another. S something has to be sacrificed here, a wife or something of that nature. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates for you, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.